Hi, my name is Dr. Kevin Juno, and I'm in the Plant and Earth Science Department here at the University of Wisconsin River Falls, where I teach conservation and environmental science. And I lead the program to the Bahamas. The class is called Tropical Restoration Experience because that's exactly what we're trying to do. We're going to the Bahamas and we're working with some folks down there in the Bahamas National Trust with the Bahamas Forestry Unit and some other community members there to restore different environmental systems. While we're there, we work on the mangrove systems. So you may know that the mangrove systems are very impaired because of land use changes, because of pollution, because of a whole variety of different reasons. So we go down there and we help the Bahamians restore some of those natural systems, those natural mangrove systems. Another system that we work in is the pine forest. There's a subspecies of pine that is threatened. It's only found on four islands in the world. Those four islands are Andros, where we go, Abaco, Grand Bahamas, and New Province Island. We also go visit a coral reef restoration. We don't do coral reef restoration while we're there, but we do go visit where there is coral reef restoration occurring. We go and visit an impaired coral reef where we see the degradation, some of the bleaching, some of the invasive fish that are found in the, the Caribbean. We go and see where these corals are being grown on these underwater lines. So there's staghorn and elkhorn coral that are being grown on these different structures below the surface of the water. And those corals are plucked off those lines and then they get epoxied to rocks. And that's what essentially seeds a new coral reef. We go and check that out. And then we go visit a place where those elkhorn and staghorn corals are outplanted to see a brand new restoration, a brand new coral reef being developed. And then we go and look at an intact coral reef that's used as a reference site. This is where they want to move into the future. This is the type of coral reef that they want to have. So we go through impaired, we go and check out how they're doing the restoration, and then we go and visit a coral reef that actually is intact, a pretty healthy coral reef. So there's a lot of things that led to me wanting to go to the Bahamas to, to do this particular class. So here in Wisconsin, we have a lot of very great ecosystems, but we don't have tropical forests. We don't have rainforests. We don't have coral reefs. And so this class allows the students who take it to go to the Caribbean and actually look at coral reefs. We go and look at the Caribbean pines. We go and look at mangrove systems. We go and look at some sand dune systems that we don't have around here. And not only do we go look at them, but we're actively involved with the Bahamian government to restore these systems. We're going down there and we're helping the ecosystems. Not only are we helping the ecosystems, we're also helping the communities that live in those areas. What we're gonna be doing is we're going to the Bahamas, specifically Andros Island, which is the largest island in the Bahamas. It's also the least densely populated. There is a lot of habitat and natural area in the system. There's lots of water, there's lots of pine forests, there's lots of mangroves, there's lots of coral around it. But it's all being impaired. It's all being impacted by land use changes, by climate change, by pollution, by all kinds of human imposed stresses onto this island. So we're going down there and we're helping the community in the Bahamas restore these systems. The class is also a cultural immersion. We're going and visiting community members. We're talking to the public. We're learning from the public. We're hanging out with people there so we can get an understand of some of the, the issues that they're facing. We're trying to get an idea of how maybe we could help, how we could help lessen the impact of this environmental degradation on their communities. This class is ESM 242. 242 is actually the area code for the Bahamas. That's why I chose this class number. The title of the class is the Tropical Restoration Experience. So that's exactly what it is. It's an experience. We go to the Bahamas and we experience restoring these systems. This class is a general elective for all majors on campus. If you're looking to use this class as a substitution, we can chat before we go down there and I can make sure that we have some sort of content and we'll work with your advisor 
to allow this class to be a substitution in your specific major. For example, if you're an education major, which I've had in the past, we could work something out. We could work together and put together a project. We could go visit a local school. We could do something so that we can make it so that this course will count towards your major. If you're an art major, we go to a community of people that are just crafters. We have sculptors, there's basket weavers. We go to this community and we, we meet them. We really immerse ourselves in this particular community and we could put together something so that we can make this course count towards your, your degree. If you're in any program on campus, we will chat and we will make sure that this class will count towards something. There are no prerequisites for this class. There's no prior experience. You don't need to be a conservation major. You do not need to be an environmental science major. You don't need to have any understanding of restoration. You just need to have a want to go to the Bahamas and help communities with their ecological restoration. We typically wake up in the morning, we have breakfast, and then we go into the field with the Bahamas Forestry Unit, which is essentially the Bahamian equivalent to our Forest Service. We work with them essentially all day doing restoration. We may be removing invasive species, we may be planting trees, we may be planting native species of forbs or grasses, we may be picking up trash off the beach, we're going through mangroves, we're collecting a lot of data, and so we are down there actually doing restoration work, sort of like boots on the ground, shovel in our hands, maybe chainsaw in our hands, and we're going down and we're helping the community and we're helping the Bahamas Forestry Unit do restoration. As I mentioned, what we're trying to do is improve biodiversity in these ecological systems, and we're also trying to help the community. We're trying to restore these ecological services that the, the habitats provide to the locals down there. In the afternoon, once we're done doing our restoration work, we typically go and visit different places. We may go visit blue holes, we go swimming a lot, we may go snorkeling, we may just you know, hang out on the beach or we may just be relaxing at the field station. So what we do is we do a lot of sort of work throughout the day, then we have a relaxing afternoon, and then in the evening, that's when we have our lectures. So during our lectures, we'll learn about the history of the Bahamas, we learn about the pirate history of the Caribbean, we learn about the natural history of the ecosystems there, we learn how to ID fish, how to ID coral, how to ID the plants that are there. We think about botany, and it's not a, an upper level botany class, so you're not gonna be learning taxonomy, but you're gonna be learning about plants that you've never seen before. We're gonna be learning about the cultural importance of a lot of these plants. A lot of them are used for medicinal purposes, so we'll learn about why these plants are important to the communities in the Bahamas. While you're down there, I'm also gonna have you adopt a plot. So what you need to do is you go and you sit somewhere for a couple hours every day and just observe the environment. You're looking at the tides, you're thinking about the birds, you're listening to the birds, you're looking at the birds, you're looking at the fish, you're looking at the insects walking across. And so having time to just sit down and immerse yourself in this natural area. What you're gonna be doing is journaling about it, and then at the end, you're gonna be presenting your adopt -a plot to the rest of the class. What did you learn? What did you observe? What are some of the things that you've noticed that maybe you haven't noticed before? There is a textbook assigned for this class, and that textbook will guide you through these different activities to make you a more aware observer of the natural environment. So we're staying at the Four Far Field Station. So you'll learn about the history of the Four Far Field Station once we get down there, but it is essentially an all-inclusive stay. Plane tickets and breakfast, lunch, and dinner, room and board are all completely covered in this fee. So the only money that you'll need to bring is for souvenirs or to buy things like ice cream at the, the local ice cream shop. The field station is a pretty great place. There is a classroom space. There's a library with a ping pong table in it so you can play ping pong. They have volleyball there and it's right on the ocean, it's right on the beach. So you could wake up in the morning and you could look out across the ocean. Some of the most memorable things to me, and I don't wanna spoil it, 
is just swimming in the coral reef. Seeing an actual coral reef that's intact is the most breathtaking experience that I've ever had. I'm definitely not an ocean person. I love the forest. I love being in the forest. I wouldn't go in the ocean unless I had to until I swam around and snorkeled in some of these coral reefs. The biodiversity of the fish is second to none. The corals, the colors, all the different things, just the, the feeling of floating around a coral reef is just breathtaking. So we do snorkel quite a bit while we're there and we do go out in the ocean a little bit. If you're thinking about doing a study abroad, you should absolutely do it. There is nothing, there is no experience that you can get at the University of Wisconsin River Falls that will compare to the study abroad experience that you will have with your colleagues and your peers from the university. This is a great opportunity to see the world. It's a great opportunity to become very close to people that you may not have thought about becoming close with. It's a great opportunity to just make friends and to network and also expand your horizons. It's such a great opportunity to go on these study abroad trips. Highly recommend it. Even if you don't go to the Bahamas to do tropical restoration, you should definitely consider or even just do a study abroad. I really hope that you consider taking this class to the Bahamas where we could really impact the environment, we could really have an influence in the community, and we could also learn about these systems that we may not be familiar with. It doesn't matter what your major is, it doesn't matter what your background is, everybody is included in this class. Everybody's welcome to join us.